What's up everybody? It's your girl B Octavia and I am back with another video. Shout out to my sister because I'm in her room right now just for a place to record real quick. But what I did want to talk about in B for Real vlogs is shame in the black community. <laughs> to talk about this because in my eyes it was a form of bullying in my childhood for kids that's my age older or younger to shame one another for what they didn't have or what they did have but wasn't good enough in their eyes i want to talk about this because it is very damaging a lot of people are just living to impress others and let me just tell you you don't have to impress a soul you got to be content with the person that you are and especially it's a lot of things that you can't control in your adolescence you know you can't control that your parents don't make the type of money that other parents do. You can't control that maybe other parents know how to budget their money better. And, you know, in growing up from your adolescence into teenage years, it's all about, about the work that you put in and you being content and proud of yourself for what you have and what you want to have shame in the black community in my younger years in elementary specifically it was a lot of bullying you know for, for a person having on air walks or pay less shoes you know and a person that had on jewel ends or nikes they would be untouched you know so it was all about what was acceptable in other kids eyes Meanwhile, all of us are living on Section 8. All of our parents probably are living check to check. You know, maybe the checks are bigger check to check depending on the person. But, you know, and another huge thing that I didn't even realize was a lot of parents, not even just mine, was, was dealing with substance abuse, alcoholism etc you know what i'm saying domestic violence with their partners and all of us kids were exposed to that and we used shame as a distraction you know me personally i never felt compelled to make anybody feel less than what they were unless they deserved it you know unless they gave me that energy too but i think that that started happening once I got older. In my younger years, I didn't fight fire with fire because I really didn't have the energy to, and I didn't really see that it was worth it. You know, of course, I wanted better. I wanted better shoes, and I didn't want to wear hand-me-downs and things like that, but it took me a while to realize that, you know, it was nothing that I could do about you know, wearing hand-me-downs. Look, friends, if you have three girls that are two years apart, each one, you know what I'm saying? What do you expect that's going to happen? You know, this one can't fit the clothes anymore. The one that's under an age fits the clothes. I started to realize that, you know, it was people who were maybe the only child in a situation and they didn't have to do anything like that and that's why they were shamed. So, you know, to put it simpler, I think that it does take some deep thought. You know, if you are younger and you are watching this and you have been bullied or shamed for your situation or for not having money like other kids do, not getting an allowance, I didn't get none of that, you know what I'm saying? Um, but don't make yourself feel worse. That's what I will say. Do not make yourself feel worse about it because as you get older, you will have that drive to get certain jobs and you will be able to provide for yourself. I think 
a huge thing about getting older that is a huge responsibility but it's also very gratifying is taking care of yourself that can start off you know now in your younger years with simple things like self-care and building up a skincare routine saving money for things that you really want things that you feel that you really need because nobody else is going to do that for you like you can beg and beg and beg your parents but if they don't see that it's worth it they're not going to get it you know what i'm saying so you got to really prepare yourself for the workforce. Prepare yourself to make your own income. Shame in the black community, it can make you stronger, but it also can break those who don't see it for what it really is. You know, a lot of the shame is because some person or people are jealous of you. They don't understand you, but what you're doing is working for you, you know. You have to receive it and see it for what it is. And I think one last huge part of shame in the black community is, you know, no matter how much shame you get for the person that you are, for what you're doing, for your goals that you want to meet that nobody else understands. Don't ever turn turn the energy that they have for you onto somebody else because no matter how strong you are, if you turn that on somebody else, you don't know that they're as strong as you. You don't go to sleep with that person at night. You don't have to deal with that person's thoughts and what their thoughts and what what their conscience is telling them to do. Mental health is something that I really appreciate and I take time to really make sure I'm censored because no matter what happens, you have to have yourself. Nobody can really help you out of a dark place like you can. Nobody can really talk you from off of that ledge like you can, you know. Suicide awareness and mental health is something that a lot of people in the black community should focus in on and work on yourself, you know. A lot of people don't know the hurt that they've caused. And I say that because it's odd enough to say, but a lot of people that have quote-unquote bullied me or made me feel less than at one point or another, they ended up, once all of us got older, they ended up embracing me and being happy to see me. It was a complete turnaround that I still don't understand, and I don't think I'm supposed to. You know, maybe, and that was always my hope for them, maybe they have seen the error in their ways and they really want to change themselves, or they never seen an issue with their personalities at all you know they will have to deal with those same personalities in their children and that's something that you know i don't want no part saying i don't have no part saying it's not my life gaining closure with the past it comes with maintaining a level head and maintaining a certain excellence in mental health you know you have to take care of yourself to be able to gain closure from the past nobody is going to be able to help you with that nobody is going to see the past like you did or like you do so i say that to say shame in the black community it did a lot to me i thought that it destroyed me at one point but people had to say about me but it didn't it ended up making me stronger and making me really want to know myself it really does take a lot of people telling you who you are for you to know who you are you know so i hope that this video helped i will have more videos surrounding this topic in the future thank you for hearing me out thank you for tuning in and I will see y'all on another episode of Be For Real Vlogs.